How you doing, Tight Lines? It's your boy Keys here. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. That's because things happen, you know, job change, and I moved to Washington State. And actually, I'm going fishing this weekend, and I have five days. So I ordered me a bait bucket, and it just got here tonight. Um, got so excited, I already opened up the box, but I didn't fully open it. I just cut the tape open, but let's get it. So with this bait bucket, uh, I've been doing a lot of research up here because, like I said, um, I'm going fishing here in Washington State. I'm going for sturgeon, uh, channel catfish, and um, some salmon. I never fished for salmon, but let's get rid of that. I could buy that. But yeah, here's the bait bucket. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Kind of. There we go. Put it at the edge of the table. So, I need my knife. But yeah, so, never fish for salmon. Um, and trying out surgeon for the first time. Never fish for surgeon a day in my life. So, I have, I know nothing about them. And there will be a video on it this weekend. But here's a bait bucket. It's a six-gallon bucket I got from Amazon. Um, I don't remember the brand. I'll put that in the description below. But uh, it has a nice little carrying handle. It actually, like, pops in to where you can carry it something I liked about it when I seen it online and it's supposed to pop up somehow some way it has a little mesh netting up here as well let me see if I can get it up first stretch it out stretch it on up let's see let's open this this oh it pops okay so what I'm feeling is nice rubber. Feels like it's some heavy duty rubber too. And uh, you just pretty much just push, I guess, until it pops all the way open. I'll unzip this for you guys. Oh, that's all the way. Oh, this? Oh, that's pretty neat. Huh. And now it's refusing to stay open. But yeah, this, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's not cooperating right now, I guess, because water's not in it. And it's all plastic, so I'm going to give it a good wash before I can put fish in it. And it has this little mesh cover, so, and this hole right here for your aerator. So you put the aerator tube down there, you put your air stone at the bottom, you know, have a weight to it. But also, you can use this little zipper right here, and just drop a fish in it if it's that size. I, I want to say it's probably maybe six inches long, possibly. But I just want to do a little quick video tonight. Uh, I'm actually getting ready here to go to bed and pack bags for tomorrow. Oh, also, before I end this video, it has a little air rider pocket on the side. Uh, it's a pretty big side pocket here. And actually, I, I actually have my air rider. Give me one second. I'm going to go grab it out of the handy dandy closet. So yeah, like so, I have a for bill aerator that I got from Bass Pro that's up here, and um, it's salt water tested apparently. I have to test it out when I go out to the ocean, but I'm going to a river, freshwater river, trying that out. So I guess you, how would you even clip this? I guess you put it on the inside like this. Let's turn it this way. So you put it on the inside, you just sit it down in there, and then you have your aerator hose tube going into the air rate of port and also you have a little cover too so if you're not using it you can just close it up and yeah so I'm gonna get all this prepped up probably tomorrow um, and when I get oh, let me fix this camera Ooh, nope see look camera's already failing here we go starting off there we go so when we get this uh, when I get this trip underway here, I'm gonna leave on Saturday. I probably won't be back till Monday or Tuesday. Um, there's gonna be a video out for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keys is out.